breaking news right now. Desmond Shaw live in SkyCal with reports of a stolen ambulance. Desmond? story and we just uh, heard about this abruptly with CHP Orange County with this ambulance here and at first there were reports that there might have been people uh, like, like hanging out a window or something like that where you can see the back door is open uh, and now we are hearing that this ambulance is stolen out of the city of Orange so we are westbound on the 91 we're going to be making our way into LA County we just crossed the 5 freeway you see not Avenue coming up next we're up to 80 miles an hour that side door is open as well and you also have those side marker lights on which uh, I believe is kind of unusual as well. The city of Orange, their fire department has a GPS tracker on this. So they've been knowing, that's where we initially heard it, is because they were giving out the pings to CHP to try to catch up with it. Now we are crossing over soon into LA County, so LA County CHP will have to get involved in this. Uh, but they do know where this is at. Uh, they obviously know that now we're overhead as well. So uh, they're trying to, as Desmond mentioned, get a, a helicopter or some sort of aircraft in the air to keep eyes on this. The back is open, and I want to point out the floodlights that Desmond's talking about on the side of the ambulance there. Those are usually activated by the side door. Once they open that side door, that activates the floodlights. You can see that side door is halfway open. So that may be why the floodlights are on. Uh, I also noticed from Desmond's earlier shot, we could see the back of it. I don't believe I saw a stretcher back there. So it looks like maybe these medics were probably out on a call doing something with a patient and somebody jumped in. There you see the side door opening again. And this actually has gotten the attention of a ton of people. CHP has been getting call after call after call. And even one of the reports said that somebody was even hanging out the back of it. So it's kind of hard to tell if there's one person or two people in there. The front cab where the uh, Orange wh whoever stole this is sitting uh, is in there. It's hard to tell if there's two people in there or one. It's pretty dark inside. But there you can see the EKG machine sitting on the ground right there. This is Rescue 4 from the City of Orange Fire Department stolen as we try on the westbound 91 uh, entering into the L.A. County area. L.A. County Sheriff's helicopter is about to get overhead on this one, so I think they're going to be the first to be uh, uh, have eyes on this besides us, uh, first as far as law enforcement goes, and they'll be able to guide in any ground units or whoever ends up getting involved in all this. In fact, right on cue, there's the spotlight there from uh, from Sheriff's Deputies uh, 24 up here right now. So I'm sure there's going to be a lot of calls being made. You know, there were probably already made calls being made to CHP in L.A. County anyway. But uh, I would have to imagine that we're going to see them coming in here sooner rather than later. You can see them are uh, really low over this. So, yeah, and, and here comes yep. CHP as well. So now, so they're going to be guiding them in. Now let's see how this suspect responds to all this now because this is the first that we've seen of authorities being overhead and a lot of times that's when you know we start to see the kind of panic driving and definitely don't want to see that with a vehicle like this obviously you know kind of an ungainly vehicle handles very strange uh not, not going to handle like a typical passenger car or even an suv definitely could be easy to lose control of a top heavy vehicle like this we'll see where this takes us but right now the la county sheriff's department with era overhead and uh, the two CHP two yeah, units overhead. Second one on the radar, yeah. And the CHP on the ground with their here. units and transitioning. What is this freeway here, Desmond? Looks like we're going southbound 710, and uh, we're going to have a lot of truck traffic like that truck right there that the suspect just uh, tried to get around. And you saw that kind of weird maneuver earlier where it almost looks like maybe they weren't paying attention. Uh, let's see if we can use this opportunity to get a view inside. There's actually two L.A. County Sheriff's deputies helicopters that are over this now uh, at the moment. From everything I've been seeing, I think it's just the suspect inside. I uh, haven't seen any other movement in there. They might have been looking at, at their cell phone or something earlier when they pulled that uh, kind of a evasive maneuver. But, yeah, we're transitioning southbound 710 now, so we're making our way towards downtown Long Beach, the ports of Long Beach as well. I do hear some some things about how they want to maybe try to handle this, but, again, their options are going to be kind of limited. The other thing when you're talking about, well, now we're kind of getting over here a little bit, but, uh, you know, these fire vehicles are generally always on a full tank, right? They don't like to run these things low, and this is a larger vehicle that may have a larger gas tank. So we'll see how long he's able to go if they're not able to bring this to a stop any other way. You know, the big question that we always ask when we see these interesting or different vehicles in these chases is why this person did, did this. Yeah. You know, Desmond was talking about some mental health issues that could certainly be uh, something that's happening here and to be considered, but also perhaps they're getting away from something. Who knows yeah. um, why they stole specifically an ambulance? Uh, you know, they could have stolen a car, you know, which they could maybe get away in because it's not as obvious well, as down. an ambulance. Yeah. And it looks like they are they're pulling over here stop. for the first time. Yep. Yep. Ground Let's see uh, right what happens now. Them. Right behind them. Yeah, first time we've been out of stop. Let's hope that they thought better of it. Uh, if we can get over to the driver's side here, 
Uh, my pilot Mike just navigating SkyCal over uh, to the driver's side. And you can see, uh, actually, kind of surprised that CHP is allowing traffic to go right now. But they are... Oh, hands up. Looks, they, they're coming out weapons drawn. Oh, look at this. We're going to get a, a peaceful surrender. So, boy, uh, maybe they were able to get through to this person or they just uh, thought better of it or what. But uh, after all of that, I mean, you've got to realize you're not going to be able to run for very long with such a high-profile vehicle. Uh, and uh, But uh, lifting up his shirt there, looks like he's got some uh, artwork on his stomach. Looks like he might have a hospital sandals. band. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Interesting. That's, uh, yeah. So, Desmond, where are if you? this person was just, uh, you know, we are uh, on the southbound 710, right off of Carson Street. Uh, so, very close to the uh, 405 freeway here. And uh, I'm just, okay, CHP's got to be stopping lanes now. And it looks like uh, we're going to be having a, a peaceful surrender here. So, some pretty good news after the end of a, a very bizarre pursuit out of Orange County, now in the Long Beach area. All right, Desmond, thank you. As we see the suspect surrender to police, uh, it, it does look like he has, like, the, the hospital mm -hmm. bands on his wrist or something. Um, yeah, on one side, it would be like a bandage on the other side or something right. like that. Yeah, so. so maybe he was a patient, patient at the hospital who had access somehow to this ambulance. I mean, that would certainly make sense. It would, and obviously the city of Orange is now going to have to figure out I mean, how this guy got keys, if the keys were left in there, or, you know, the circumstances. Hospitals, in theory, would have a lot of security camera videos, so hopefully that'll help them too. But, uh, you know, luckily the city of Orange is going to get their ambulance back without a whole ton of damage to it.